could go through all of them of the trips they took and maybe they shouldn't have taken some of these trips. But at the end of the day, we want the most powerful leader in the world protected. But can we do it in a more prudent and, and responsible way? Hopefully so. And hopefully somebody within this administration will look at it and say, here's where we can save some yeah. money. Uh, because at the end of the day, the taxpayers are footing an extremely large bill. Yeah. Uh, Corrine, you, you say this is hypocrisy? I do. I, I think it's complete hypocrisy. Like uh, Maria was saying, he chastised President Obama uh, for going on vacation, for golfing. And President Obama had less vacation, fewer vacation days than his predecessor, President George W. Bush. I think for me, the thing that bothers me the most about this is the profiting off of the presidency. Mar-a-Lago, uh, you know, they, they doubled their initiation fee to $200,000. Um, and also, he never, he actually never let go of of ownership of his businesses. So his yeah. adult children okay. are traveling, making money for the organization. So <laughs> I wanna, he's profiting. I want to bring in Paris presidency. now. Sorry, I hate to cut you guys short, but I want to get it all in before we have to go. Paris, what's your, what do you think? I think this is fake news. This is, this is, not, this is not a news story. Don, <laughs> Tell me what about it, it is fake, Paris. <laughs> We're going to go. Are we be, going be, down be, this be, road be, again? On. Yeah, we are. Come on, Paris. <laughs> I, I didn't interrupt Paris. any of you all. Let me just tell you why. The president is not breaking any laws, and he's not doing anything. It's not his okay, fault. Okay, Paris, hold on. Let me ask you this. No, no, well, no, 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 no. Let me ask you. I'm going to let you finish. I'm going to let you finish. Do you actually know what the definition of fake news is? What we're doing right now? No, okay. Well, because then, this well, then, is not then you are story. part of the fake news because you are on I'm the network trying, and you're I'm, part of the... No, Fake news no, no. is when you... I'm hang on. Let me explain story. to people out there watching and you what fake news is. Fake news is when you put out a story to intentionally deceive someone and you know that it is wrong. I don't know of anyone who has put out a story in the, the mainstream media that I can think of right now to, that, to intentionally deceive anyone. Now, people get things wrong, sources sometimes empty, but no one that I know has put out anything to intentionally deceive someone. This story that we're doing right now is not to intentionally deceive anyone. We are simply talking about the cost to uh, keep a president safe, the Secret Service there's cost, a, and what are the a, pros Andre, and the cons, and if there, and as Andre said, and if there are ways that we could, can may be able to work on that to make it uh, fiscally better for the American people. There is nothing fake about that. Please stop it with that stupid talking yeah. point that it is a fake news story. If you don't want to participate in the news stories on this network, then don't come on and participate. But don't call them fake because you don't agree with them. Go on. Don, this is a fake news story, in my opinion, because the okay, underlying Paris, assumption is that... Thank you very much, everyone. That... Thanks, everyone. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Have a great weekend. Good night, all. Thanks, Don.